A surprise attack on employees at a Northwest Side barbershop also seemed to be sending shockwaves throughout the community. People have begun leaving flowers and other signs of sympathy outside Diesel Barbershop at Bandera Road in Loop 1604. And as Katrina Weber reports, police have arrested the man who they believe stabbed two workers there, killing one. Readying for reopening day was on the minds of Diesel Barbershop staff when police say a stranger brought their work to a violent halt. They say 42-year-old Damian Terrell Campbell at first asked about an appointment, then went on the attack. An arrest affidavit offers details saying Campbell forced three employees to the back of the Bandera Road store. It says he choked 20-year-old Evan O'Regan into unconsciousness, then stabbed O'Regan to death. Another employee was stabbed too, but she ran for help. A third worker escaped uninjured. We were here yesterday as management getting ready to open just like they were. Um, it could have easily been us. The first time Rachel Nyan Olick knew anything was wrong next door was after police showed up. This morning, she brought flowers and a candle. Others have done the same. The hair community is very tight knit. Even if you don't know everyone, you know someone that knows someone. Neither police nor the affidavit offer any real reasons for it. The chief called it random. Others in this line of work say before this happened, their bigger concern was a different kind of threat, the coronavirus, and how to make sure their shops were safe. No one saw this coming. Something like this is just so far-fetched for us in our industry that when it happens, you don't, you don't expect it. While the staff may not have known Campbell, the affidavit says police found him through clues he left behind. It says his name was in the barbershop computer and his face was caught on camera there. He's charged with murder. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.